Hey guys, guess where I'm at today? Let's talk about that when I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, welcome. You've just discovered the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where it's all about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life, and empowering others free. So today, I'm actually at the University of Environment and Sustainable Development, where that is uh, located near our uh, community out in the Somanya area. So there's an event today um, that's going to feature uh, the president uh, he's here today, but they're basically instituting uh, the professor, Dr. Eric Niarco Sampson, um, whom you guys have seen us do a meeting with. They're uh, instituting him as the, basically, as the permanent vice chancellor of this university. So there's a huge event going on today, and um, I just came out to uh, uh, show our support. and. Um, yeah, so as we get closer, you're going to hear the drums, so uh, you, you won't be able to hear me talk. But at any rate, that's where I'm at today, so I brought you along.
professors, members of convocation, staff and students of UUSD, media houses, distinguished invited guests. My name is Hammond Opong I welcome you all to the University of Environment and Sustainable Development, so many. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you may recall that on the 5th of August 2020, His Excellency, Nana Adudankwa Kufaru, President of the Republic of Ghana, inaugurated this great institution. We are happy to say that this is how far the Lord has brought us. It is an honor to welcome you on behalf of the Chairman of the Governing Council to the investiture of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Eric Nalko Samson, and our Registrar, and the induction of our Registrar, Mrs. Mary Abena Ejipon. You are all welcome. Yeah, hey. Professor Chairman, may I now invite the UASD choir to lead the gathering to sing the opening hymn. Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us. This hymn is found on page 22 of the program brochure. Shall we please be seated? Let's bow down our heads for prayer. Lord, you are the help and the hope of your people. We bless your name for this day and this gathering. We thank you for this university. And we bless your name for the blessing that established sin. Father, in you we have our being. And we thank you for all those who committed themselves to the realization of this facility. We gather, Father, inviting your presence amongst us. Today, 
before our very eyes the vice chancellor and the registrar lord will be given as it were the position to govern this institution as they receive their message lord we pray that your grace will be sufficient upon them activate the potential grace within them and grant them the wisdom required to live effectively you are the seat of wisdom father Leadership has been a bane in the bane of many institutional organizations. We pray that, Father, as they take the mantle, grant them the blessings of heaven and help them to live effectively. So, the beautiful friends we experience here will actually be experienced. May you continue to show your blessings upon all staff and bless them so their commitment will help realize this vision. Father, come among us in your spirit today and help us in this program. So at the end of the day, your name will be glorified. You are the Yahweh Sabo, the shadow of your people. Guide and live amongst us, and may your presence be felt throughout the program. May your grace continue to lead us. We ask this. Christ our Lord, your Son, who lays the reins with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
cameras. A round of applause for him, please. Honorable Ntim Fodio, representing His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana, and Arudan Baku I have a long list of salutations, and I intend to go through all of them <laughs> because I want, to, want you to see the extent of our spread. I will immediately include Mr. Peter Amehu, the regional minister, Mr. Chang. Members of the government council of UNI today. Honorable Deputy Minister, who is representing the minister as well? Members, ministers of states who are here, members of parliament present, Municipal Chief Executives, especially here at the board, so I'm going to them. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure they are here. The Coordinating Director, Gila and Manya Municipal Assemblies, Chairman of GTEC, Professor Kwambua Hata, Director General of GTEC, Professor Salifu, Oh, that's 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 that is the general Ghana Education Service, the administrator of the Get Fund, director EPA, executive director EPA, chief executive officer Water River Authority, chairman and members of Vice Chancellors Ghana, chairman and members of Council of Ministries and Finance Officers, president and members of Princoff, that is the Training colleges, heads of government institutions, the head energy commission, director general of GBC, Professor Amin Alassane, chief executive of the Royal St. Hotel and Resort, the police commander, divisional command, Sumana, municipal commander, national intelligence bureau, Sumana, then the Sishaku, the Second acting colonel and paramount chief of Europe. Program. Then the secretary, I haven't seen him yet, I'm sure he will be here. Colonel of Maya Provo and currently the president of the Eastern Region House of Chiefs. Odinohu Kwafu Akoto, the second chief of Kwamu. And I've seen that chief I know very well, also by the Nene. Naname, Nananum, the presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, Ghana, the administrative bishop of Methodist Church, Ghana, Methodist bishops of Cape Coast and Somania Diocese, Superintendent Minister Bethany Methodist Church, Jowulu, Chairman, Local Council of Churches, Reverend Father Bright Kennedy Adipon, St. Peter Catholic Church, Somania, Reverend Father Justin Franklin Mensa, Financial Administrator, Catholic Secretariat, Kogoda. Reverend Dr. Joseph Kofiantri, Clerk of the Ghana West Presbytery, Presbyterian Church of Ghana. The Chairman, Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, members of the clergy present. The Ibam of Somania, Branch Manager, Electricity Company of Ghana, Somania. Branch Manager, Ghana Water Company Limited, Sovanya. Branch Manager, Ghana Review Authority, Ghana Senate, Sovanya. Branch Manager, GCB, Sovanya. 
heads of senior high schools present, members of UAE's new convocation, staff of the UESD, SRC president and executives, families of both the vice chancellor and the registrar, distinguished invited guests, students, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have taken you through this list because as I said earlier, you will appreciate our spread in this area. Thank you very much for being patient. Representative of the Head of State, it is my pleasant duty to extend to this assembly of dignitaries a warm greetings from the Governing Council, management, staff, and students of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development. On their behalf, I welcome all of you and invite you to share with us the joy of this occasion and to join us to be witness says, to one of the very crucial university rituals. An investiture is usually carried out at the beginning of an officer's tenure. Since this ritual became part of the Ghanaian experience, our principal office officers have taken office in the presence of faculty, staff, students, and other bodies that make the university. In our case, the officers were sworn into office when there were no faculty, no staff, or students. Ours is a brand new institution without these vital components. But unlike others, we had a brand, we had brand new buildings and we are very proud of them. This explains why this investiture, investiture is coming on when the officers have already been at post for well over one year. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, established by an act of parliament in 2015, Act 898, as a subvented institution and commission on 5th of 2020, by His Excellency Nana Arugan Kwakufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana. The USD commenced academic work with a staff strength of less than 300 in 2020, and later 77 students came in January 2021. This paved the way for the commencement of official academic work in the university in January 2021. Your Excellencies Representative, we are here to witness the very important activity which will make today mark, be marked as a very memorable in the history of the year.
proceed to the days with the gown of the religious tribe. Choir some cool melodies as he proceeds. Can you help us with some melodies as he proceeds to the days? Mr. Quentin, please proceed.
in the Ashanti region of Ghana. She possesses a Master of Science degree in Food Science from McGill University, Montreal, Canada, and a Bachelor of Science Honors degree in Biochemistry from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, Ghana. Presently, she is at an advanced stage of a Doctor of Management degree program. She joined the then Sunyan Polytechnic now Sunyani Technical University in September 1997, where at a young age of 31 years, she became the first female vice principal of the Polytechnic and served two terms from 1999 to 2003. Having been voted into office by the convocation of the institution, she was subsequently appointed as the Dean of Students of the same institution. Mrs. Mary Abena Japon served the Polytechnic in various capacities, notably working with the teams in championing the institutionalization of the Sunyana Polytechnic Lecture Series, a forum created by the presentation, and... step forward for the administration of the oath of office. Kindly repeat after me. I I do Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will at all times. That I will at all times. Well and truly serve the University of the Sustainable Development. Development. And the Republic of Ghana. And the Republic of Ghana. In the office of Register. Register. And that I will uphold, and that I will uphold preserve, preserve, protect, protect and, defend the university and defend the university as by law established. As by law established. So help me God. So well, the one who has come to the that's the place to step Thank 
to you, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Eric Nakusamson. Professor of Guidance and Counseling. Eric Nakusamson is the Foundation Dean of the Faculty of Education, Educational Foundations, College of Education, Education Studies, University of Cape Coast. He obtained his Doctor of Philosophy degree in Educational Guidance and Counseling from the University of Lorraine, Nigeria. He also holds a Master of Philosophy in Guidance and Counseling, a Master of Human Resource Management, and a Bachelor of Education, education BA in Psychology, all from the University of Cape Coast. He also earlier obtained a teacher certificate A from the Commander College. <laughs> and a final professional diploma, FD, from the Chartered Institute of Administration and Management Consultant Ghana, CIAMC. Professor Nyako Samson served as Vice Dean of the Faculty of Educational Foundation, College of Education Studies, Foundation Head, Department of Guidance and Counseling, Hall Tutor, and Senior Hall Tutor of Atlantic Hall, all at the UCC. UCC. Professor Eric Nyako Samson has taught courses and supervised theses in Guidance and Counseling, Educational Administration, and psychology at the postgraduate level. He has also taught courses in management at the undergraduate level at the then Center for Distance Education, now College of Distance Education, UCC. His areas of expertise and research interest include career counseling, school counseling, counselor education, behavior modification methods, communication and counseling, study habits, and human resource management. Professor Nyako Samson has served as instructor, facilitator, resource person, and participant in many national and international conferences, workshops, and seminars. He has published widely in local and international refereed academic journals and also served as consultant editor and member of editorial boards and a reviewer for, for some. He is editor-in-chief of the Ugwa Educator, a general of the College of the Education, of Education Studies, University of Cape Coast, and general of Environment and Sustainable Development, a general of the University of Sustainable uh, University of Environment and Sustainable Development. He served as a chief examiner in guidance and counseling for colleges of education in Ghana and is an external assessor for both local and international universities. He represented the University of Cape Coast as some governing, on some governing councils of tertiary institutions affiliated with the university. Professor Eric Nyaku Samson has served as chairman and member of both public and private boards and councils. Under his chairmanship, the National Teaching Council introduced the Ghana Teacher Licensure Examination in September 2017. The council has as well taken significant steps towards the professionalization of teaching in Ghana. A lay preacher of the Methodist Church Ghana since 1995 and a public speaker, he has mentored many young persons whilst inspiring some adults through his motivational speeches and sermons. Professor Eric Nyako Samson has a keen interest in alumni activities. He has served as National Secretary of the UCC Alumni Association for 15 years and National Vice President for five. He is a member of the Ghana Psychological Council. 
He is an accredited practitioner of the Institute of Public Relations Ghana and a member of the Chartered Institute of Human Resource Management, CIHRM. In 2020, Professor Eric Nyako Samson was appointed as the founding vice chancellor of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development. So, Professor Eric Nyako Samson is married to Margaret, a nurse by profession, and they have two children, Eric Jr. and Peggy Sonia. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Council of Chairman, I present to you. I call on Professor John Blay and Dr. Fifa Ebitete, both members of council, to assist in the robing of the vice chancellor. Thank you. 
Chairman of the Governing Council of the University of Environment 
and Sustainable Development and Chairman for this ceremony, Professor Jonathan Na Ayeti, the Honorable Deputy Minister of Education and Member of Parliament for Asimov, Reverend Intim Fodjo, representing the President, members of the Governing Council, Governing Council of the University, Acting Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development, Nene Oklepe Menue, Sasraku the Second Paramount Chief of Yellow Crow, Odinuhu Kafra Kutu the Third Akwemuhini, Nanan Sakao, Registrar UESD Mrs. Mary Abne Japan, Minister John Peter Mehu, Minister of Railways Development, Eastern Regional Minister Honorable Seth Kwame Champon, Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, Vice Chancellors and Registrars of Sister Public and Private Universities Present, Nene Me, Name, Presiding Bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana, Most Reverend Dr. Paul Abna Boafo, also known as Nene Tete Jabba. <laughs> My Lord Bishops present, the Administrative Bishop, the Bishop of Somenia, and Bishop of Cape Coast, members of the clergy, deans and directors of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development, heads of agencies present, leadership of the Student Representative Council, staff and students of the UESD, friends of UESD, our alumni groups present, media houses present, distinguished guests. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Here to say welcome, we say Nyehe. Okay, thank you. So Nyehe. Thank you. I wish on behalf of the registrar and I to thank God for this day and the University Council for this opportunity. We thank all of you for traveling far and near to join us today for this occasion. Two years and two days today, three of us were handed our appointment letters to leave this university. The University of Environment and Sustainable Development was established to provide higher education, disseminate knowledge related to development in environment and agribusiness education, and undertake research for national development. To fulfill this mission, a great workforce of teaching and non-teaching from diverse backgrounds with relevant requisite academic qualifications and full of hope has been assembled from Ghana and outside Ghana from the private and public sectors. It is this group that we have been honored to lead in providing hope for the future of the world over the past year and a half. Your Excellency, many have decried the hopelessness of the present generation, the lack of honesty and can-do spirit among the youth, the seeming lack of opportunities in these times, and the apparent reluctance of young people to persevere and stay the course of whatever endeavors they find themselves, and a general lack of enterprise is what we are eager to deal with. And it is to these young people that my team and I are charged to give hope. Hope, H-O-P-E, is an acronym of the first letters of the core values of the university. I am happy to say that much has been done over the past year to instill in our students, faculty, and staff with the values of honesty, opportunity, perseverance, and enterprise. As an institution, we seek under the guidance of the Governing Council to produce graduates who are equipped with relevant knowledge and skills, to be well positioned as agents of change and partners in the identification and resolution 
of prevailing environmental and sustainable development and life challenges in Ghana and beyond. My major vision, Mr. Chairman, was to take the necessary steps to establish a strong foundation upon which a university that is comparable to any other anywhere in the world could be built. To do this, I set myself a set of defined strategic indicators which constitute the pillars of my vision. For each of them, I wish to report on how far we have come within the almost one and a half year under the guidance of the University Government Council. The first strategic indicator is to lead the various schools in the university to, where appropriate, develop competitively demand-driven and market-oriented programs and research in environmental sciences and policy, agro-business, water resources, energy, economics and policy, sustainability, urban architecture, among others, to meet individual, organizational and national aspirations. It is also to encourage other non-academic programs, such as seminars, lectures, symposia, workshops, and national as well as international conferences to enhance the soft skills of students and staff. This is to ensure that products of the university are adequately or sufficiently prepared for the world of work. A think tank for national and international issues in the environment, energy, and sustainable development will be established to research, discuss, and disseminate such findings for national development. I am happy, Mr. Chairman, to report that within one year and a half, 20 academic programs have been developed, approved by the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, and are running in the two schools. We hope to introduce three additional programs, Bachelor of Science in Sustainable Architecture, Bachelor of Science in Urban Design, and Bachelor of Science in Construction Management after receiving the requisite approvals in our upcoming third school, School of Built Environment. In the case of non-academic programs, I report that last year we collaborated with the Frederick Ebert Stifter to organize our maiden international conference on sustainable development. The participation was highly encouraging for a start whereas the program was oversubscribed. Preparations are far advanced and call for papers have already been published for the 2022 Sustainable Development Conference. We have collaborated with GIZ to undertake sessions on climate change and career for our students. Members of staff have attended conferences, seminars and workshops and contributed to discourse in their specializations which lie in the mandate of the university. Further to our desire to assist to produce the human capital needed for the transformation and industrialization of our country, the university has submitted a proposal to the Minister of Education to equip and commission the University of Environment and Sustainable Development as an institution for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. Honorable Minister, we are eager to receive a positive response and to begin as soon as possible. We have also submitted a proposal to the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, for the establishment of a chair in environmental sciences, and we are waiting for a favorable response. Two, use of technology. Chairman of Council, in this era of digital transformation, I envisage to vigorously pursue the drive towards making teaching and learning technology-based and driven. Appropriate educational technology tools will be employed in teaching and learning at both the undergraduate and postgraduate <laughs> levels and overall work in the university. Lecturers and students will be trained in the use of such technology. I am happy to report 
that the setup of the local area network infrastructure to facilitate teaching and learning, research and information dissemination has been completed. A learning management system has been acquired and will soon be deployed for use by teaching staff and students. Training on the use of the LMS has been conducted for the users. It is our plan to have one course in each program of study run entirely online, while others may be run in the blended mode. This is in preparation for the takeoff of our online programs in the not too distant future. We are partnering a private sector developer in the use of an enterprise resource planning software with components to manage staff and students' records. We are at the tail end of the process to acquire a library management system for the university. <coughs> the University of Environment and Sustainable Development has a presence on all the popular social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And these are at the back of the brochures you have. The university hopes to make use of this to give feedback and to build loyalty among students and staff. And also to increase our international market reach to build networks and develop the UESD brand. On finance, ladies and gentlemen, the prudent management of the investors' financial resources as will be put out in the investors' financial regulations as found in the Public Financial Management Act 2016 at 921 and others of international pedigree will be pursued. On this, we are working quite hard. Fundraising activities shall vigorously be undertaken as I will lead a team to engage organizations, specialized bodies, and individuals for assistance. Teams will be constituted to craft competitive proposals to fund key programs and projects in the university. On this prop chair, I wish to report that we are in the process of finalizing the draft of the university's financial regulations and procedure manual. Some of our fundraising activities have yielded positive responses from organizations and institutions through the provision of equipment and sponsorship of programs and students. However, we still count on corporate Ghana and individuals to offer any assistance to enable us to continue with our charge. Strategic Indicator 4 relates to linkages and collaborations, both with international and external institutions and organizations to draw synergies and share best practices. The university will work in partnership with international and external institutions in the specialized area of the university in particular and industry in general to discuss and make input into new programs to be developed and those to be reviewed. By so doing, industry will be part of the academic programs of the university to enhance ownership as well as create appropriate job opportunities for products of the university. This will greatly improve the quality of teaching and learning and research. As an institution, Prof. Chair, we have entered into various local and international agreements and paid courtesy calls on chiefs and institutions to hold discussions on teaching, sponsorship, and research partnerships. We have received input from some professional bodies on academic programs we have rolled out while we have signed memoranda of understanding or agreement with others. We are working to complete others. In collaborative research, it is my vision to pursue avenues for institution to institution, researcher to researcher, institution to researcher collaborations locally and internationally in research aimed at groundbreaking findings to inform policy and improve lives and also contribute the creation and dissemination of knowledge. Such collaborations could lead to the development of infrastructure for a first-class research environment and improve the university's institutional and researcher 
profile. The university has established a research innovations and consultancy unit which coordinates research activities with the effective member ethics committee that has the mandate of ensuring that research works carried out in this university meet international standards and are safeguarded from all risks and harm. Prof. Chairman, I'm happy to announce that a team of three researchers at UESD won the university's first research grant of an amount of 15,000 US dollars from the African Economic Research Consortium Call on Climate Change and Economic Development in Africa. The team was the only one from Ghana that won this year. Again, two teams of lecturers from USD were among 26 recipients of the Joscon Group of Companies Africa Environmental Sanitation Fund awards held on 4th of March 2022. In the area of faculty and staff development, my vision is to create a cadre of faculty and staff that has a congenial and collaborative spirit. A spirit that is not afraid of pushing boundaries and asking why. I will encourage a work ethic that is both encouraging and supportive of initiatives rather than inhibiting. A brand of collegiality that makes faculty and staff pursue the academic and work interest largely toward a common rather than individual goal. This is to create an environment that is very conducive for research, teaching, and service due to supporting colleagues' work environment and smart and hardworking students. Various training and staff development sessions have been held on campus, while others have participated in national and international programs online. To meet the requirements to teach at the higher education level as stipulated in the tertiary education. Hey guys, so that's the event. The event, uh, we went about three hours before the uh, rain cut us short. So they had to uh, cut a few of the speakers off of the event because uh, the rain started to come. So at any rate, uh, it went about three hours. Um, so you've seen some of the footage there. And um, yeah, it's a great event. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed uh, and just, you know, we're excited to be working with the university. And, um, you know, we believe that there's some very good things uh, coming between us and the university. And, you know, if you like what we're talking about, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, give me your feedback. What do you think about the event uh, and some of the uh, entertainment that you've seen? Um, we'll use some of those same entertainers at our event. But um, also, if you haven't already done so, go ahead, hit our website, www.migratingcoachacrossing.com, and take advantage of our half price home promo. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And as always, hoorah, ahuru, now be free. <laughs>